Okay, we're back here at the uh, Vectra. I'm going to do another um, follow-up video of this uh, steering column clunk. Just a few notes after the, uh, the last video I did. There's another video I had about the uh, steering clunk. Um, steering column clunk, actually. Um, when you're driving along, um, if you hit slight bumps with a bit of steering, uh, she gives a clunk. Uh, it feels like it's out of the rack. It's a cloverleaf-like profile with a spline in there and the spline doesn't have a sliding bush or anything like that and the spline actually binds in there so it cannot take small movements inside the spline now the thing is is this rack the steering rack does have rubber mounts okay so there is a very slight amount of movement in this rack yeah just turn the steering a good fill on those just above it so it just Drips down, not a big squirt or hose if you can help it. Just wipe up. The rubber gloves with the silicon because everything you touch with silicon gets under everything else and then you just siliconize everything. <laughs> your keys, your gloves, your pockets, your everything. Now, I don't know whether you can see that that pinion just lifting us slightly when I leave her underneath there. Okay, but that's the rubber mounting of the actual rack. Okay. So when the wheels strike things and bumps, the rack can move a little bit in its rubber mount. All right? And that movement has to be facilitated by that sliding cloder leaf spine. It can't be dead tight. And that's the problem, these uh, binds. So they should have uh, slipped some other, even a shim material down there of a different kind of metal that uh, would stop the binding between the two metals and maybe put a, a dissimilar one in between there. I'm not sure we could go over that all day long, that discussion. But uh, silicon is rectifying the issue uh, to keep it from binding, because uh, binding is the problem. Now again, you know, I'll go over that you, you've checked all the rubbers, tie rod ends, the uh, sway bar link ends, um, and your steering rack and the pinion and any free play and that universal joint as well. Like at, um, this is to fix this but it doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't a fault somewhere else that could be the cause of it, but that's mechanics, okay? We have to uh, check all things. We don't just assume it's one thing, all right? Because there's no slack or free play that would give us a reason to uh, replace that. If it was loose, if it had a bit of play in it, um, there was no binding, then I'd replace it. Boom, let's use that. Okie dokums. You see there's a ball joint there that goes to the sway bar link, okay? And there's another one up the top, all right? Which goes to the actual strut, okay? You can find that these, one of these or both of these have got slack in the ball joints and it will give you a clunk, all right? And the thing goes over. So be sure to check those. Uh, I've got the torch and the thing in my hands, so I can't twist it, but... Uh, Check both of those on both sides to make sure they're okay. And your sway bar's not slack and the sway bar rubbers are okay. Okay. And likewise, check your uh, rack rubbers. Check your, uh, you know, your tie rod ends here to make sure they're all okay. All right. And if everything's okay and there's no slack, then, uh, yeah, give that column a lube. Um, and it's not going to cause any harm. So, uh, yeah, give it a squirt with the silicon anyway. Because you don't want to start clunking. If it's not already. Get off the ground, silly old bugger. Uh, so I hope you found that informative and uh, if you need some more details uh, don't hesitate to post a comment. I'll get onto those straight away and uh, if you uh, like that, um, yeah, hit the little subscribe button there. Much appreciated if you do. Thanks for coming to my channel and uh, we'll uh, maybe check you in the next video and uh, yeah, catch you later.